Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter back with another Umarangi Generation Guide. So this is going to be part two of our series on this game where we unlock all of the achievements and a bunch of Microsoft Rewards points along the way. So if you haven't watched part one, that will be linked in the description so you can go back and collect the first three achievements that we grabbed a couple of weeks ago. This is going to be the next part and we'll get three more achievements in this game. So if we take a look in the rewards app, we're basically going to be grabbing all of the points more or less at the top of the screen here. So we'll start with the rewards weekly set and we'll take a look at this punch card. This is worth 100 rewards points. The first thing we need to do is click on the featured game to find out more about As Dusk Falls. And once you finish with that, then you can press B to get back to the app. For Achievement Hunter, we're going to be working on those next three achievements in Omerangi Generation. And then for searching on Bing, you just have to do that on three separate days and then click on this link once you are finished. So that'll be the rewards weekly set punch card finished. For the achieve more, earn more, you can always break this up into three separate days if you like. The Xbox Weekly Treasure, you can just click on that to grab those 100 rewards points. And then if you're in the US, UK, or Canada, I believe you should be seeing the August Monthly Bonus Round for 2,000 points. The first task is to run some Bing searches on five separate days. The second one is to complete three of the daily sets. And just let me know in the comments if you don't know what a daily set is, I could point you in the right direction on that. Or you can just click on this link and you'll be able to find your daily set there, hopefully. Task number three is to earn three achievements. So we're gonna be doing those same three achievements that I mentioned already in Umarangi to get this finished up. Task four is to complete the weekly set, which again was the very first punch card that we looked at just a moment ago. So once that's finished, you can complete task four. Task five is to finish this Bing poll and basically just come in here and click on Master Chief, who is the greatest of all time. And then you can click on exit poll. Feel free to choose the other one if you like, but for me, of course, it's Master Chief because I'm a big Halo fan. But anyway, so task number five is finished. Task six or the last task is to claim the prizes. So you can do that once you've finished all the other tasks after a few days. And again, these usually take a couple of days to appear on the redeem tab, but you should see them after that. If you just page over to the redeem tab, you should see them there after a couple of days and you can turn those in and try to win the sweepstakes for this month. But let's go ahead and start back up with Umarangi Generation. I'm going to take a quick look at the achievement tracker here so you can see the achievements that we've got. Three out of 23 so far. And the last one that we grabbed was telephoto for getting the telephoto lens. So there are a couple more achievements that we can unlock in the very first level. So we're going to go back to that. So just select the level and choose Moao View again. This is the same level that we did in part one. But again, we're just going to go back and clean things up, get two more achievements. And we're going to have to repeat some of the same photos that we took last time. And I'll cover that in just a second once we can look at the objectives here. So to look at your objectives, you just hit the start button and I'll show you all of the bounties here that we need to get. So we're going to have to do the ones in the center again, all of the top level photo bounties. So we'll repeat all of those photographs. Additionally, we need to do the bonus objectives that are at the bottom. So finding the nine film canisters, earning $130, all of those things. So I'll show you how to get all of those photos. And then one of them is to recreate the postcard. So if you press X here on this screen, you can see what the postcard looks like and you basically need to recreate that. You'll just go to the green spot on the map that's highlighted and you'll take the photograph from there. And I'll show you that in just a couple minutes. But the very first thing that I wanna do is have us go around and collect all of the film canisters because I think that is a little bit difficult to remember and it's easiest if we just get them all kind of in one fell swoop. So let's go over here and we're going to grab our first film canister back behind us. It is right here next to this very colorful wall back here. And that's kind of what it looks like. It's a little black thing with a gray top. Looks like this, it's a very old school photo canister, film canister. And the second one is on top of the ramp here. So press X to collect that one. And then we're going to do some jumping. Remember you can press A twice to do a double jump. I was kind of failing on my double jump here, but get up here and onto this little board and then onto this wall beside you. And you can collect the third film canister right there. All right, now the fourth one is down where the markers are. So if you can get to this spot with the markers, then you should see the fourth film canister here. 
and there are the jets going over. We actually don't need to take a picture of them this time. That is not one of the bounties. That was just for an achievement. All right, number five is on the edge here next to the birds. And then number six is a little bit high up. If you go back here by the very colorful wall, you can jump up on top of that, and then you should be able to sort of drop down to where the, the number six film canister is. So it is right back here next to this paint bucket. So we'll press X to grab that. And I actually fell off the map here. Don't worry if you fall off. It basically just respawns you back on the map again. So go back by the colorful wall and then go carefully down the stairwell here. Don't fall off the map like I did. And we'll get the last three films down here. So number seven is right here next to this boom box. Number eight, just keep working your way around. And I thought there was one there. It's actually by this spray can over here. So there you can see number eight right there. And number nine is just right around here on this little ramp. So that completes one of our bonus objectives. Now let's just take a picture of the mountain. That's one of the main objectives. So we can take that picture from down here. And every time you complete one of the objectives, you should hear a little sparkle sound. That's that's what I would call it anyway. Listen in your headphones. You should hear the little sparkle sound when you successfully complete one of the bounties. So that can be helpful to let you know, you know that you have successfully completed it. They also display a little thing on screen that says that you did it successfully. Don't have to take any pictures down here. I was just kind of experimenting a little bit. Let's head back up and we're going to start working on some more of the bounties up here. And we'll go back and take one of the ones we took last time of the markers. And you can also try to get the disposable camera in the same shot here. For some reason, it only counted the markers for me this time. So I ended up having to take more of a close-up shot on the disposable camera to get that one finished up. So here's my close-up on the disposable camera. And we're gonna move back here to try to get the Union Jack, which is again on this skateboard. And that's one of the bounties we've gotta get. There's also the mixtape that's over here. So let's take a picture of that again. And then now we need to take a group shot, which includes this penguin that's in the water and all of the three people that are over there. So you can kind of jump up onto the table where the mixtape is and take the picture from there and you should get the group shot finished up. So we still need to get the seven birds, the two boom boxes, and a few other things. Let's get the two boom boxes. We took that one last time. It's over here by the colorful wall. So we'll get the two boom boxes in one picture and finish that objective. And now we can go ahead and head up to the green highlighted spot. This is where you're meant to take the postcard picture from. So quite a few things we can do up here. So the first one I'm gonna get is actually the picture of the seven birds, which should be really easy to do. Just kind of take a picture from up here and you should get seven of them in. And then you're gonna to try to stand in this spot where the green highlighted marker is. And you can kind of crouch a little bit and try to not get this bird in the way, but you wanna to try to get the bird that's on the right where it's just kind of touching the board that's over there. So you might need to crouch and move around a little bit. It took me three or four different positions to finally find one that worked. And I still didn't get it perfectly, but if you get kind of close to it, it should go ahead and give it to you and complete the objective for you and say postcard shot like that. So that one's finished up. So press start and take a look at what you've got left. Probably the only thing you have left is to earn $130. So you can take a look at your total at the bottom left corner of the screen. You can see I've got $108.79 right now. So at this point, we can just kind of start taking pictures around the map, just whatever you like. I'm just taking kind of random pictures of things that I liked and trying to bump my total up to $130. I thought maybe if I framed the shots a little bit better or got like landscapes or something that might increase the total. They seem to all be about worth, you know, two to five dollars or so. So it'll take you a little while and then you will finish up getting your $130. You can see I'm up to 123 now. I wanted to get a picture of this where it says Mawau View. So again, we're not taking specific photos right now. It's just whatever you like trying to get the total up to 130. And once we do that, we will be able to go ahead and finish up the level. 
Now keep in mind your timer at the upper left. I'm at almost six minutes right now. We have 10 minutes to finish the level this time around if we want to get the speedrunner achievement. So make sure that you do finish all of these objectives within the 10 minute time period or else you'll need to start over and try it again. But once you've got the $130 and everything finished, you can press X to deliver the parcel on that red spot there and it will give you a final payout for the level. And then you should get two achievements right here. You'll get the speedrunner achievement, like I said, for finishing it within 10 minutes. You'll also get the flashbox achievement for getting all of the bonus objectives. For some reason, my notifications weren't popping up, but I just went into the achievement tracker to check it out. And I got the flashbox achievement here and the speedrunner achievement here. So that's great. So we've got two out of three finished so far. Let's go ahead and click next delivery. And you can see that we've got the telephoto lens unlocked. So you can press A on that. And then we've got the flash box unlocked if we ever need to take any pictures in a dark area. So that may come in handy later. Let's go on to the next level. This one's Udomo Tai. And we are going to basically just get one of the special achievements here. So turn around and drop down a couple of levels. And then we're going to walk across one of these boards here. And this is a little bit of a tricky jump. You have to jump over these containers right here to get to these guys. There are a few different paths you could take to get down here, but basically we just went down a couple of levels and you'll see these guys smoking around a trash can. And this guy with the gray camo pants here has a bag that you wanna take a picture of. And this is a bag of pizza rolls. And if we take a photo of this, we're gonna get the pizza roll achievement. And again, my notifications didn't pop up, so I just switched over to the achievement tracker to take a look at that and make sure that I got the pizza roll achievement. So there it is. So that's great. We've got all three of them now, and there's nothing more we need to do today. We'll take some more pictures in this level next time. But for today, let's go ahead and switch over to the Microsoft Rewards app, and we'll start turning things in here. So let's click on the Rewards Weekly Set and then click on Achievement Hunter. We've got three out of three finished now. So that check mark should be there when you come back to the weekly set punch card. And then again, we can click on the Achieve More, Earn More, grab those 50 points. We already finished with the weekly treasure. And then on the monthly bonus round, we can finish up task number three since we got our three achievements. So you've got a few more things to do to finish out the weekly set and the monthly bonus round, but that is pretty much all we need to do today. And we've got our three achievements that we needed for that. So that is gonna do it for part two of Umerangi Generation. We'll be back in a couple of weeks with part three when we've got a new weekly reward set to work on with that. The Game Pass quests do seem to be delayed today, so I'm going ahead and publishing this guide while we're waiting for the quests to be released. I have not heard anything yet on those, but hopefully they'll pop up soon. So we'll have our monthly guides coming out later today and the weekly guides if and when those appear. And we'll also have most likely a top 10 that's coming out within the next few days. So I'll have a punch guard guide for that once that card is available. So I'll look forward to seeing you all in those guides. Thanks for watching everyone. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button here on YouTube and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find some helpful links in the description of this video if you want to stay connected with us. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.